I get questions often about how I set up my UI and why and such. Before I get into anything, I think a demonstration is in order. This here is how I do my Dragoon opener. Keep also the following in mind. I have been playing this game for over five years now, since right before the release of Heaven's Word. I have been a Dragoon main ever since, and all other jobs have had their hotbar setups influenced by my Dragoon setup and playstyle. I spent my 2015 summer completely engulfed by Final Fantasy XIV, and have been a near daily player ever since. I have five years practice with this setup. With some minor caveats, my six key is a second copy of True Thrust. This used to be Impulse Drive. Arm's length was phlebotomized for anyone who remembers that skill. One and Shift plus two are now AoE, but used to be Heavy Thrust and the old version of Leg Sweep that did damage, respectively. I don't think Mirage Dive was anything, and F1 through F4 all changed around slightly depending on which buffs were available at the time, and Star Diver was also once something else, but I don't recall what it was. And Elusive Jump and Sprint, I don't recall where those used to be. I think I often didn't even have Elusive on my bars just because I never had a good place to put it. Roll actions kinda just randomly got thrown on when they became a thing. I told around with the specific placements based on what was going on in specific raids and such, and developed muscle memory from there. Before I go into any amount of UI talk, these things need to be emphasized. I didn't develop these habits overnight. It's been years and years of practice with a setup I found comfortable, and continued to be comfortable with due to practice. But since I've started off with these mornings, let's focus more in on my hotbars and the elements I keep with it. I will keep a picture of my keyboard up in the corner for reference. Hotbar 1 is 1 to equal, hotbar 2 is shift plus 1 to equal, and hotbar 3 is F1 to F12. And this bar over here on the left are the macro keys. Instead of macros, I jerry-rigged it to be additional keys. Later in the video, I'll go over my thought process of how I build all the rest of my jobs, but a pattern will be clear by the end. And I keep basically all relevant info in this one area. I have the limit gauge, positive and negative statuses. It's really hard to see, but status info enhancements has the other one right behind it. The progress bar for all my casting skills, and my gauge here, and it's in a similar place for all jobs. You may think, oh, well, what about healing? Your party list isn't here. And you'd be right. I don't do any extreme or harder content healing, but seeing HP bars mid-fight is plenty enough for me, even if I did do that. I only ever have to glance at HP bars to know if I need to heal, which usually I don't need to heal at all. People tend to panic when not at absolute maximum health, but it's not needed most of the time. To which, I also click the party list anytime I want to target a specific player. With healing, with anything, and especially with Dragon Sight. So let's take a look at this opener for Shiva Unreal. Watch my cursor move across the screen when I go to use Dragon Sight. I manually select my target with my mouse, then quickly hit tab to retarget the boss. This is another reason why I wanted to emphasize how weird my playstyle is. It's far from conventional, and becomes even less conventional when I again emphasize this is also how I heal. But I emphasize in my 1 to 80 guides that you should fill your hotbars with how you feel comfortable for a reason. I am comfortable with this. I am an ultimate raider with this kind of setup. Comfort is the ultimate goal. 
emulate this playstyle if you think it will help you in some positive manner. Otherwise, it isn't for you. It's all about what is good for you. This manual targeting also used to be much harder. I would very often lose my mouse in a fight, but 5.3 added the ability to increase the size of your hardware cursor. This used to be something you could only do to the software cursor, and I find the hardware cursor so much smoother and makes everything easier to click, and is now so much better now that you can make it larger. Maximum is comically sized though. But I've been getting further and further off the topic that I just was at. The point is, all of my decisions do feed into each other. Going back down to my hotbars, I have everything tightly packed together specifically to minimize space taken up. When I am actually playing, I look at almost none of the game. I have a 27 inch monitor, so as much as you can imagine it, if you're on anything smaller, maximize this video and pretend it's a bit bigger. See how much of the screen is here? Now take a look at the red portion of the screen. This is roughly how much of the screen I pay attention to in combat. My hotbars and my character. My eyes almost never leave the bottom parts of the screen. I even have my camera shifted up said shifting is done with control plus the arrow keys, so that even my character is completely below the middle of the screen. I only look away to check mechanics when I see they are happening, or know they are about to happen. So at best, in combat my eyes are looking at this much of the screen, which extends to include whatever enemy I am fighting, their health, their status effects, and their cast bar. I don't need to know any of this info 90% of the time. Anytime it does become relevant, I can glance up when I'm not going John Madden to see what I may or may not need to know. With this setup, I minimize how much of the screen I need to keep track of to be successful. If something I need is outside of this frame, I almost always spin my camera to a way that will keep everything relevant inside, such as this situation in Shiva Unreal. I choose to go to the safe spot behind me because it felt closer and safer to go to, and I spin the camera to bring it in range and strafe into that safe spot. I have a huge screen, but in the middle of a busy combat section, I'm ignoring most of it. So even with how much there is to do, or see in any specific fight, I minimize my eye movements to focus on making sure I do my rotation right, but still keep my character on screen. It's hard to really accurately portray, I feel. I don't think I'm even doing a good job explaining how I do all this, but even check my ultimate clears and look how far down my character is and try to imagine me not doing anything but looking at this section of the screen for all of Living Liquid and Brute Chaser, or basically all of the weapons refrain if you choose to check that one. Just mind the major stream compression on the Alex clears. But that really is how I do these things. I only look away when I need to. But that's it for the main parts of my UI. The enemy list is over here under the party list. I basically only ever actually use this in one or two situations. I don't really watch aggro all that much except for when mass pulling as a tank and bad little DPS refuse to stack on me when I stop pulling. Right below is the inventory grid which I is entirely turned off. Alliance health bars are also up here and since the scenario guide only matters outside of instances, overlapping the two has no drawbacks and saves me some space. Over in the top right, I keep my duty list, menu, and money far out of the way. And then basically everything in the bottom right is miscellaneous stuff I uncommonly, commonly use. And a second chat box too. But everything is tightly compact to minimize the space taken up for when I want to look around, or those cases where I need to have a greater raid awareness. 
Yeah, I usually don't look away from the main section of the screen, but when I do need raid awareness and the ability to see the entire arena, I have it. Especially when learning a fight for the first time. The part of note is that I plugged in a controller to use the cross hotbar for some extra hotbar space. It's basically all just signs though. Nothing too majorly important. Oh, and the minimap is here too. Yep. The only other thing of note is the fact that Limit Break is hidden over here. This is a leftover from when I parsed purple in A11S with a single digit frame rate. I tell my static this all the time and I am forcing the tale onto you all now. It is real and it was painful. If anything, I should change the potion buttons over here into limit breaks, but lazy. I'll probably do it while this is uploading. It kind of is actually inconvenient to have limit break over here. You should put yours in a better spot. But that really just about covers my entire main HUD. But there is one other thing that specifically ties into how I have my UI set up, and I mentioned it a little bit earlier. My movement. Anyone who plays this game needs to try it at least one time. Legacy controls. I can never play this game in standard. All of my gameplay hinges on being able to move forward, backward, left and right in straight lines. In standard, holding down S will cause me to move very slowly backwards. This is terrible and makes it impossible to dodge most things. But in Legacy, I can move in all four directions no problem. Additionally, I removed the turn left and right keys. By default, A and D are turn left and right, and I deleted those immediately and moved Q and E, which are strafe left and right, onto A and D. So I play with WASD, but the real WASD. The only issue is that trying to strafe and walk backwards gives me the slow back walk, but at that point, I'm probably spinning my camera and strafing with just one key, like I showed earlier with Shiva Unreal. But with that mentioned and out of the way, let's get to the thought process I go through with building all of my hotbars across all of the jobs. That is to say, I don't have much thought process. Dragoon is a mess of stuff all over that I am only good at because of five years of practice, and learning it as I went. It made a bit more sense back when it was 2.0 or 3.0, but over the years it has evolved into a monster. So let's go through all the other jobs and my madness will be laid bare. Like most people, I tend to focus most skills to one hand. The main combos and a few OGCDs always stick around the 1 to 4 keys, I also tend to keep branching combo buttons at that branch. So if a 1-2-3 combo has a branch on the third skill, the combo branch skill will be on Shift 3. This applies to F1 to F4 as well, all done with my left hand almost exclusively. My AoE almost always tends to be disjointed from the rest of my toolkit, sitting somewhere in the middle of my hotbars. From around 9 to equals and F9 to F12 is all right hand, and the middle of the hotbars tends to go neglected on all but Dragoon. Where possible, this is where less commonly used skills and AoE go. Healers have their own pattern as well. I keep most of all my healing stuff to the left, and DPS skills to the right. Exceptions exist just to keep that middle portion of the hotbars generally empty, and you may have noticed the bar on the left is basically all utility skills, with some exceptions like Blackest Night on Dark Knight, but otherwise it's mostly fire and forget skills like stances, movement abilities, and otherwise not often used skills. They all follow general rules, but every job plays so differently overall one set of rules does not completely apply, which is also why I've entirely avoided showing my samurai bar so far. I've been trying to adjust everything to find a better way to play it as I want to use this job more, but ultimately my problem is not layout, but the problem is practice. 
No matter how much I change things, no matter how much you lay out your hotbars, you need to practice with it. Anyone who asked for this video intending to emulate my layout and style, this is a point I need to emphasize now. This was never a learn tips for your hotbars video, but to explain mine. I'll do that in a completely separate video, but I still need to emphasize it and say it over and over. Practice with any and all hotbar layouts you do. A layout is only truly bad if it's bad for you even with practice. It sounds boring, but take an entire week to practice your job with a new layout. Spend a day or two just attacking a striking dummy over and over. Then the next day or two, start doing easier duties to get real practice in actual content. Then upgrade to harder content like trials and maybe even extremes if you feel extremely confident. No pun intended. That is what it comes down to. Practice. Not me having some extremely good setup that you should emulate. Emulate what you need. But that about covers my setup and how I play. I feel like I've forgotten stuff and done a really bad job at explaining it all, so do please ask questions on anything you don't get about my really stupid playstyle. And may the power of Anadid Hogs lay waste to your enemies.